Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Maria. And today I will be doing, a, I want to say it's a fragrance haul slash review. Um, these are fragrances that I recently picked up last month, late last month. There are five new ones, um, not necessarily new to the market, but new as in I just bought them. Before I get into that, I would just like to ask you guys to please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. You can also feel free to put in the comment section what you would like me to, what would you like to see from my channel, you know, stuff like that. Engage. I don't mind engaging. So, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So, guys, the first fragrance I'm going to get into is the Yves Saint Laurent Libre. I think that's how you say it, or some people call it Libre. Um, the Eau de Parfum Intense, and this is what it looks like. I will say I do love this color. I do love the gold hardware and detailing around the bottle. I think it's really pretty. Um, I also own the original one, but this is the first one I smelled, you guys. And I just had this thing. Um, I thought that because something said Intense, because it was labeled intense that it would automatically smell better however i purchased a a fragrance discovery set i think that's what it's called i'm here looking at the box now from shoppers and it had the original one in it guys um this is what it looks like sorry this is what it looks like and it has the original one in it and when i took a whiff of that you guys that also smelled amazing to me. So, it was so nice that I had to do it twice. I could not make up my mind, so I have both of them. And I just think, I love the bottles. I love the bottles, they're so, so pretty. I just love, but look at these, like, you can see the color difference between the liquids inside of the bottles, but they both smell equally amazing. And as I said, I couldn't make up my mind, so I have both. What I will say, that I don't like is that to me, this is my own personal opinion, they don't last as long on the skin as I would like. I like to, to spray my perfumes on the points that you're supposed to spray it on, to the pulse points. And I just like that later on during the day, five hours, six hours later, I can still smell some remnants of the perfume. But to me, these don't give me that. They do give you that if you spray them on clothing because obviously the scent is going to latch on to the clothing fibers. So it's going to stay longer on your clothes. But I just wish that, would, that they would stay longer on your skin because I like to just smell my skin. If I put perfume there, I think about it and I go back and just have a whiff and fall in love all over again with the scent, if that makes sense. So the next perfume I have is Valentino Born in Roma. And this is what it looks like, you guys. This is the original scent. Before I continue with this, I would like to say that all of my perfumes usually are 50 mils. Um, I mentioned that in my first video. I don't get the full size bottle unless I really, 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 really love this perfume. And I think 50 mils is a good amount, especially if you have a lot of fragrances um and i'm trying to build my collection so i do have quite a few now if you have a lot of fragrances you don't need a hundred mil bottle unless you plan to literally bathe in the fragrance or if that is the only thing you'll be gravitating towards then by all means get a hundred mil but 50 mils is perfect for me um i did get this after purchasing this you guys this is also another Samples that I got from Shoppers. All of my fragrances that I'm reviewing today came from Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada because I do live in Canada. And this one also came with a gift card that I could redeem a bigger bottle. And I opted for the Born in Roma Valentino. Let's just open it up and show you what it looks like inside. These are the samples it comes with, guys. I think this is a good enough sample set for $95, especially if you're going to get a bigger bottle of whatever fragrance you you know, you choose that you like. I think it's a really good deal. Shoppers has this deal, I think the lady told me, twice a year. 
So this is the first one. And then there's also going to be one for later on in the year. I think she said fall. I think she said fall. Yeah, fall or Christmas. One of the two. I can't remember, but I know it's later on in the year. These are really good options to, you know, test out fragrances. And then decide if you want the, well, not have to purchase because you do get gift cards. So then you can decide which bigger bottle you want in each fragrance. These are really good buying for your buck, you guys. So back to the Valentino. I love this bottle. To me, it's very sleek. Now, I don't know how many of you from the Caribbean watch my channel, but this kind of reminds me of a bottle my mom used to keep on her dining room table, a brandy bottle. These, this, these ridges kind of reminds me of that. I think this bottle is so... I would actually call this bottle sexy and sleek because of the black accents and these ridges. It just, I love it. The design, the, the, design, the square shape, I just, square shape, the cuboid shape. <laughs> I went primary school and I went primary school, I learned. <laughs> yeah, and I just, I like it. And it smells really, it's sweet. And I don't know if I would say it's floral. Oh, that's a lot. That is a lot. Yes, it is giving me a bit of a floral. Yep, it is giving me a bit of a floral fragrance. But this smells so good, guys. This smells so good. So, so good. Yep. The next fragrance I am going to talk about. Oh, I just love fragrances. I'm sorry. I just love them, especially when they smell amazing. Is... The Coco Mademoiselle Chanel Paris. No, I know that this is not any new fragrance. Chanel is not new to the market. However, I personally never gravitated towards any of the Chanel fragrances. But last year, fall, I did go into the store and I was just looking around for, you know, new scents to play with. Oh, I can still smell that wine. Oh my God. No, it's giving me a bit of a fruity scent as well. Back to the Chanel. So I, you can go in store, you know, when you're going to stores for perfumes to, to smell, you get like the little, what do you call them? The sticks that you can spray them on. So the lady sprayed this for me and she also sprayed the Intense and I smelled them. And at that point in time, I still was quite unsure if I liked them to the point that I wanted to purchase any. So I went home and I thought about it and I thought about it. And then I decided, you know what? Let me get one because I don't really have any grown, like grown, grown, grown fragrances. I got these before I got the YSL and the Valentina, you guys. Yeah. So I decided to get this one. And truth and in fact, I honestly did not remember which one I liked best between this and the Intense. But I just got this because I like the bottle. I'm not going to lie. I love... This frostiness at the top here. I think that is so pretty. I think that is so, so pretty. Um, and I think this bottle is very minimalistic as well. The most color you see here is the actual liquid. But I just like this. It's minimalistic. And the fragrance is just giving me rich anti-vibes. And I'm going to use the word grown again. Because I don't think you would give this to a teenager. You will give this to an adult. So rich anti-vibes. And I think it's best for like a date night, you know, if you're going out somewhere extremely special. I'm still smelling Valentino on my hands, you guys. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. The last fragrance I have to talk about is my absolute favorite for right now. Um, yeah, even I like it better um than the commodity paper that i would have posted in my first video i love that but this one if you guys know your bottles you'd know what this is even before i say it the idol by lancome um what can i say about this bottle i think it's cute i think it's really cute minimalistic as well i do like this and the gold trimming or rose gold trimming around it um, let me give you a little story time, you guys. So I did purchase this bottle in the 50 mil because as I said, 
you know, I don't go past 50 unless I really like it. However, I did start to really like it and I found that I gravitate towards it when picking a fragrance and it didn't really have a dent as yet. So when Shoppers Drug Mart, when they came out with this discovery set, I said, you know what? I just bought my other 50 mil Edol. I can take that back and get the 75 mil that they were offering because they have the offer. You can get, as I said, the bigger bottle of any fragrance in here that you like. So I took my gift card and I redeemed this 75 mil Lancome Idol because I think this smells really amazing. Now I already have one thing sprayed on my arm. So I don't know if I wanna spray something else and walk around smelling like a whole mess of perfume concoction, but for the purpose of the video, I'm going to do it. It's not like I'm leaving home anyways, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, just let it sit in for a bit. Uh, this gives me a light but sexy scent. Uh, it starts off a bit light, but then it, it gets intense. If that makes sense to you, at least that is what I think about it. Um, it's also a sweet fragrance, not overly sweet. Guys, I don't know how to describe how people, you know, professionals or people who know about perfumes will tell you like different notes and how it smells woodsy and all that stuff. I don't know how to do that stuff, guys, but it smells good. It smells really, really good. So I am happy that I redeemed with 75 mil bottle because I can tell you that I can bathe in this. I am going to bathe in this hair so. Yep. <laughs> Probably before the next, I want to say three months is going to be less than a half because I'm telling you, I'm going to gravitate towards this. I really am. Um, Back to the fragrance discovery set. Um, not the one with the sample size, it's this one. You guys, you get a lot in here. As you can see, you get a lot in here. This one retailed at 115 Canadian compared to the other one for the $95. But as I said, it's a bang for your buck because you do get to redeem a bigger size bottle. Um, so in here you get the Lancomido, the new Carolina Herrera Good Girl Blush. That is a seven mil bottle, you guys. And I believe that these are, um, I think these are five mil, five mil bottles here for the other ones. There's also the YSL Libre or Libre, however you want to call it, the original. Then we have the Black Orchid by Tom Ford, you guys. Now, I love Tom Ford. I do have some of his fragrances, but that Black Orchid smells awful. When I say awful, I do not like how that smells, like at all. I will not use the description that my cousin gave because <laughs> it was bad, but mm -mm. Um, it also comes with the Marc Jacobs Daisy. Um, this one is the Ever So Fresh. It also comes with the Versace Dillon Purple, which I smell for the first time after receiving this sample set. I do love how that smells, you guys. It's also very sweet, but it was not enough for me to redeem the bigger size. I prefer to get my Edol. And then it also comes with a Chloe. I don't know what the name of this, you guys. Um, I honestly don't even know. I'm going to try to link these two sample sets. Let me see if I can show you. I'm going to try to link these two sample sets from Shoppers Drug Mart. I don't know if they still have them available. The last time I checked, this was still available, but this was completely sold out here in Alberta. If you live anywhere else in Canada, you can check your Shoppers Drug Mart to see, but these are really good deals, you guys. Really, really good deals if you are looking to get a bigger bottle in any of these fragrances here, in any of them, right? Um. So yeah, that is it for my I'm always, I swear, anytime I sit on to film, I'm always trying to break something. But that is it, you guys, for my fragrance haul slash review. 
Um, there is another fragrance that I was hoping would get here in time for me to include it in here, but it didn't. It's still in transit. So I guess that would come in another video. But those are the fragrances that I would have gotten my hands on last month um, and the ones that I like. I will say that these fragrances are affordable, you guys, because even though two of them I redeemed from gift cards, um, I did have to spend money on the sample set boxes. And these, these fragrances are not more than, they all run under 200 Canadian. I'm not sure about the US conversion, but they all run under 200 Canadian. And to me, that is very affordable for a, a nice fragrance, especially um, ones that are brand name. They're not niche fragrances. However, they're, they're good. So you guys can let me know in the comment section which one of these, if you own any of them, if you're going to purchase any of them. I had somebody reach out to me and tell me from Barbados that they're actually ordering the commodity paper that I mentioned in my very first video. <clears throat> that is a niche fragrance. And I was impressed that, you know, I could reach, reach somebody and, you know, they'd be um, inspired by my thoughts about a fragrance to actually purchase it. So you guys can let me know what you have from what I just talked about or what you're planning to get. Or you can even give me suggestions of some fragrances to try. Like I said before, I really am on my fragrance journey. I'm trying to build my collection. <clears throat> so I'm open to suggestions. So with that being said, that is it for this video, you guys. It's quite short, but I wanted to put, I really wanted to put this out there. As you can see, I don't look popped on no more. I got my hair done. I got my hair done. This was supposed to be Bohemian Knotless, you guys. So because my hair is natural, I was concerned about the longevity of this hairstyle. I put it up in this cute little bun thing, left the two things out. I was just trying something, some baby hairs, you know. So I opted for um, Bohemian Box Braids with, well, yeah just so it would last a bit longer. I can try to link the girl's page here in Edmonton that I got them done, where I got them done. Um, and this is also how I like to look, um, kind of glammed up. I did put on a bit of makeup, not a professional once again. I am wearing the HD Forever Foundation. I think that's what you call it. Um, I am testing it out i recently bought it do, during no i didn't buy it during the vab sale i am testing it out i think i bought it after i don't know how i feel about it you guys not a professional here again but this is from my personal like my own opinion i put it on i put two sets of it on the lady in store she she told me it's buildable but i think i i want something with a bit more coverage because even though i put it on i put two sets of the makeup on like two different coats, if that's what you say about makeup coats, I don't know. Um, I can still see my blemishes, the few that I have peeking through, and I did not like that. I felt like I had to work too hard to build the coverage that I wanted. Um, so if you guys do have suggestions about that as well, you can let me know. I just placed an order for the, the new NARS foundation. Um, so I'm hoping to get that soon so I can try that out. I am trying to get into doing my makeup a bit more to get in my practice. And on my lip, I am wearing that Fenty that I would have put in my first video, the red one. You guys can see that. I do like it. It is a matte, as I suspected. I do like it. I just have to be really careful putting it on, not to get it all around here. I try to clean it, clean it up as best as I could. As I said, I'm not professional. I'm just trying to make myself look presentable. If you guys have tips and tricks on applying makeup or anybody that I can watch on YouTube, I've watched a few before, but you know, suggest some people down below so I can learn from them, learn something from them. But I think that I look pretty okay for somebody who doesn't really know too much about makeup i think i look pretty okay so anyways enough with the rambling and being off topic i don't know where it went from fragrances to makeup but i just really want to get this video out there for you guys and as i said i hope somebody takes something away and gives me some suggestions as well 
And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one.